The biggest part of your investments when you start real estate wholesaling is going to be skip tracing. And that's why everyone always wonders, what's the best skip tracing services out there? And if you look at Google, it's one of the most searched things about wholesaling real estate or real estate investing in general. And back of November in 2020, I actually recorded the video comparing different skip tracing services I was using back then. It was a completely different ball game at what I have used now and all the experience I have with skip tracing. So I was thinking, why don't I remake that video with updated information and actually a little bit more of a deeper research in the skip tracing services. I'm actually going to put all the skip tracing services that we're going to talk about in this video to a test. Let me lay the grounds for you what the test is going to look like. So today I pulled the list out of 1,350 vacant land properties in one city in Central Florida. So what I'm going to do is actually use nine different skip tracing services to pull uh, 1,350 properties or get the phone numbers for 1,350 properties. So every single one of them is going to get 150 properties per skip tracing service. What I'm going to do is upload them in the, this texting platform called uh, Smarter Contact. The reason why I'm using Smarter Contact for this one is because of this cool future that they do have in their platform. So what they do is that if you actually skip trace using different platforms and you want to upload the uh, the phone numbers from another platform onto this one so for half a cent they will actually check every single one of them for you to see if those phone numbers are still valid or not when we upload to smarter contact we're going to see how many of the phone numbers were bounced back or how many came incorrect so that's going to be our first test so what we're actually going to do on top of that we're going to run texting campaigns on every single list separately and after we're done running the texting campaigns on every single list we're going to see what is gonna what was my response rate for every single one of them the reason why this is a very fair ground for every single skip tracing platform we're using the same texting platform for each one of them uh, we're using uh, the same city and the same type of properties. I didn't sort through these properties. I literally went to PropStream, pulled 1,350 properties, downloaded the Excel file, separated it, and we'll have nine Excel files that are going to be uploaded to Smarter Contact separately. Smarter Contact as a platform has a really good response rate compared to a lot of other texting platforms that I've used in the past. So if there's going to be a platform that will try to get us the best understanding of how many phone numbers are going to come in correct or whatnot, we are going to see it with this platform after all this test you will see honest results so stick around to the end of the video to see the full results because this video did take quite some investment of time and money if you could please leave a like and subscribe to the channel for this type of content i really do appreciate the support so without further ado let's hop into the test all right so i tried to use all the most common skip tracing platforms that are out there some of them i've used before some of them i haven't used before so let's just talk about it so i started with bash skip tracing i think originally they're like 20 cents which is expensive but if you use the code ttp which obviously i'm not getting paid for i'm just letting you guys know that you can use that code you use that code you actually get five cents off so it's 15 cents which i think is the correct price for it i think if you do have their platform however you actually pay 15 cents anyway that's a very simple platform i i used to use batch leads when i started wholesaling i stopped using it later on because i i felt like i found a little thing something a little bit something better uh then uh, obviously there is lead Sherpa. Lead Sherpa is something that I've been using for quite some time. I have switched from it, uh, but it is a good platform. Uh, another thing is PropStream. PropStream is the most convenient one in a way because if most of the time you're going to be pulling leads from PropStream anyway, and it's only 10 cents per trace. Uh, the quality that I found before was not that good. So I guess we're going to test it out. Maybe something has changed because I haven't skipped trace with Pl PropStream in over a year. Let's see if anything has changed. Obviously, you're going to see this in this video. Skip Matrix. As of I'm recording this, I'm still waiting for Skip Matrix to reply to me. I have sent them a, a the list request, whatever it's called, and they haven't replied to me yet. They have, apparently they take a little bit of time to run the list. I already kind of don't like this, but maybe their data is so good that it's worth the wait. So I'm gonna keep an open, open mind about it and let's see how it goes. Oh yeah, Skip isn't bad. Um, the price, I think it's also 15 cents. Uh, by the way, Lee Chirpa was also 15 cents on all those, but uh, RES Skip isn't bad. I didn't really care for interface, but let's see what the data is like. REI skip trace, however, I've tried to upload the file twice in a different format. I mapped it all out and it just kept giving me errors. And I don't like that. I don't know what's wrong with it. And so 
RS gift trace unfortunately is out as of right now. Smarter contact, obviously, um, very simple. The way they did have it done, I really enjoyed 15 cents. So we uploaded, I uploaded the smarter contact. What's cool part about smarter contact is that you actually, when you get the list, they can separate it for you, which one of those are mobile or, or um, like landline lists. So when you download offer skip tracing, and let's say if you were gonna cold call those leads, not only text them, you can get uh, just mobile phone numbers or just landlines, whatever you wanna do. And especially if you're texting, it makes sense for you to, to only upload the mobile phone numbers and not the landlines because landlines are not gonna receive the text messages. Uh, skip Genie, at the moment, it's actually Skip Genie is out because I did not know that you only have to, you have to pay a $59 um, sign up fee with them on top of actually paying for the skip tracing. So for me to run one list that has 150 leads didn't make sense to pay for Skip Genie. So unfortunately, Skip Genie is out of this test as well. Then we also have RE Reply. RE Reply doesn't have like their own Skip Tracing platform. I think it's called Skip Trace Builder or something like that. That's what they use. Um, and it seemed pretty intuitive. And the cool part is, is actually, when I don't know if it's just for me or like how it happened, but I think it's probably when you start, you, when you have already applied and you use their platform, they give you $10 credit. So I had a $10 credit on there. I had to throw another five bucks there and it's only 10 cents per trace. So it was going to cost me $15 to skip trace 150 leads. It actually ended up costing me only $12 or something like that. Well, actually only like two, $3. That one is pretty simple as well. So now we have all the leads. Now let's go ahead and upload them to Smarter Contact and let's see how many of them will have incorrect phone numbers. All right, so in Smarter Contact here, you can actually see that this is the Smarter Contact list that I have ran. So this is the list itself. It gave me 100, so it's 151 contact for this exact list, 479 numbers that it gave me, 20, 236 of them were mobile, uh, 243 was uh, landlines, and the total hit rate is 95%, almost 95%, which means that 95% of these leads were found, like any kind of phone number was found for them, which is pretty good. You, I, I'm not expecting to see anything under 90% from any of them, but even a couple percent uh, can mean a lot, especially if you're running like a couple thousand properties list, 5% could be a pretty decent difference between uh, you know one skip tracing service and another one. But let's go ahead and upload other skip tracing services and just see what the results are gonna be like. All right, by the way, while I was just uploading the batch one, I actually just got a text from uh, Skip Matrix. They are gonna give me a quote. So hopefully we're gonna see how that is. We're gonna go ahead and remove uh, all of this and so not have any of this stuff. Um, so you guys know, you can see the opted out part, but the opted out part I actually ha doesn't matter. I mean, I can't really change it because it's already there, but it doesn't matter because I haven't ran this list in Smarter Contact. So all these leads are absolutely brand new for, for this platform. So let's go ahead and click confirm and it takes a little bit of time for them to actually um, to verificate all the phone, all the phone numbers. It's pretty quick. It is 150 leads, so it's not like a crazy amount. So let's just see and wait. Okay, so the results are here and out of everything that I've mapped, so it was 380 phone numbers. So I didn't map all of the phone numbers, right? So I mapped 380 phone numbers, 170 of them, 179 of them came as valid. 201 came in as invalid phone numbers. All right, now we're uploading prop stream. So let's see how different this is going to be. Wow, the result on prop stream is actually kind of impressing for me. Um, it's 287 total phone numbers, 262 uh, were valid, and 25 invalid. Um, that's a very sh low number for invalid phone number. The only thing I want to talk about, I want to take this part right here with a grain of salt a little bit because, um, like for example, batch did not give you an option to tell you which one are landlines, which one are not. Well, they did kind of, but it's not, it wasn't breaking down by the column. So like you would have to pick every single one of them separately and all that stuff. So that's not always what you want to do, especially if you upload into texting platform. So. Uh, let's take it with a grain of salt. Prop stream so far, when it comes to cell phone numbers, it seemed like they did a pretty good job. We don't know if they're correct or not yet, but let's see, let's upload the next list. Yeah, there you go. You got REI skip, 430 total phones, 
176 valid, 256 invalid phone numbers. I mean, it's not great. Um, it's not much different from batch because I think the invalid phone numbers are landlines. They count it, uh, invalid for that as well. I do believe so. So, okay, well, let's, let's keep it going. Okay, so Lead Sharper gave us 345 phone numbers. Uh, 193 were invalid, 152 were valid. Okay, so that's, uh, I think, percentage-wise, they're all very, very close, so it's not too different. What I'm actually going to do is upload Smarter Context, their own skip trace back into the system. I don't know if it's gonna work. So it looks like out of 216 phone numbers, they said only one of them is invalid. Interesting, obviously this was kind of like a test, but looks like they're, they're confident in their own data, I guess, and their data is correlating in between the, the checking for someone else's data and their own skip tracing service. Makes sense? but I still wanted to double check. All right guys, this is actually two days later. Um, I finally got the skip matrix report. Um, so yes, it takes about two days. They do say it's 24 hours, but you have to uh, do the request, for, request first, and then you actually, later on, they reach out to you, you pay for it, and then another 24 hour goes by and they give you the results. So about 48 hours, maybe 40 to 48 hours is what it takes you to uh, actually get the results back from Skip Matrix. It gives you the people tracer, the private owners, and it gives you the um, address tracer, which is the LLC and trust and the other, which is kind of cool that they separate those two. So they give you also mobile and landline separated. Uh, they also give you the ones that have not been matched at all. So that's kind of interesting. Uh, with LLC, same thing, mobile landline separated. So we're going to go ahead and get the uh, mobile uh, one downloaded right here. So we're gonna download this list upload it to Smarter Contact and see how it goes. So actually guys, if you wanna check out this right here, this is kinda of crazy. They give you so much information when it comes to skip traced information from Skip Matrix. It starts obviously by the regular info and stuff like that. Then they tell you if it's if the person is deceased, they tell you if, which I think other skip tracing services do as well. They tell you a bunch of phone numbers, mailing uh, information, obviously emails, which is also pretty standard. But then they start giving you relatives and potential relatives, addresses, phone numbers, and all that stuff. This is crazy. This is a lot of information. So maybe this could be uh, a really good for difficult leads, you know? I mean, yes, you take 48 hours to get the leads back, but maybe this could be good for those. I don't know yet. I don't know how, how good this data is. I mean, they could pull it, but it doesn't mean that it has to be good data. But the fact that they do give more information, that definitely is very interesting. It is only mobile phone numbers, so I'm not expecting yes. So this is about exactly what I expected. There's only one invalid number. Uh, the rest are valid numbers. So let's see how it goes. We're going to go ahead and upload it. Um, I will need to upload one more, which is the REI reply list, and then we can start the texting. So yes, yeah, so what you can see right now, our reply actually had 126 numbers only for about 150 leads. Um, that's not that great. I'm not too excited about it. Obviously, it is the cheapest one out of all the ones we've tried today. And I, like I always say, that you get what you pay for, especially if you're using like cheaper skip tracing services. So if, I don't know if you ever used uh, Fiverr or those skip tracing services that are like three cents, five cents per phone or per lead and those are definitely not great and i've used them before and i didn't have good results with them um i mean maybe some other people say different but in my opinion they have not been great at all all right so you can see that all of our lists are uploaded so you can see here that different different uh skip tracing platforms gave me a different amount of contacts so each one of them had about 150 so so they gave me about 100 and anywhere between 100 to 120. Proption gave me 130. Um, the rest of them were about, yeah, 100 to 130 is the range they give it to. Um, that's something to get, to get an idea about, just to have, a, have that in your mind. That's how many num numbers they gave me, that's how many contacts. So, you know, at least one phone number per person kind of thing. Now, it's just gonna be me texting and then I'm gonna come back to you guys with the results and everything that's happening. So I'll see you in a couple days. All right guys, so this is a couple days later and all the uh, campaigns have just finalized. Well, they didn't just finalize. So what I did is that I, I let the campaigns finalize 
and waited two more days uh, so that, you know, in case there's any uh, text that people may send not right away, maybe the next day or whatever, so we can kind of get a better idea. The cool part is with Smarter Contact is that we're actually going to be able to download this, uh, this list. So let's go ahead, I'll show you how. So I download this list after it's finished and I can download either all of the list or who responded, who didn't respond, um, who, which ones got blocked by the carrier. What we're going to do is that we're going to go to Respondent. We're gonna download Respondent from every single type of list and see how many out of how many we've sent how many actually responded and we're gonna, gonna run those percentages to you. All right guys, so let's see what the results are looking like. So when we did prop stream, we have ran, it's 130 contacts that was in the prop stream list. Let's see how many prop stream I had replies. So it's 130 and we had 45 replies. So we had 30, almost 35% reply rate uh, when it comes to prop stream. So we had 116, but 31 replies. So 31 divided by 116, multiplied by 100. So 27% when it came to REI skip. Definitely a big difference coming from what prop stream just showed. Okay, so for Sherpa we had 35, so that's 34. 34 divided by 103, multiplied by 100. So Sherpa had a 33% reply rate. Okay, 35 divide, uh, divided by 117 multiplied by 100. We're looking at approximately 30% for smarter contact. So when it came to a skip matrix, so let's see, it's 108 contacts. We actually had 46 replies. That's pretty big amount. So 45 divided by 108. Um, 108 multiplied by 100. That's 42% reply. That is pretty substantial amount. Alrighty, so let's keep going. So what else do we have? So RA reply had 126 contacts, it's only 25 replies. So 25 divided by 126 multiplied by 100. That is only not even 20%. So that goes for REI reply. So we only have one left and which is batch, which is the most widely used one. So Let's see what it comes back at. So we had 110 total contacts and 39 of them replied. So we got 110, multiply that by 100. So we got 35% when it comes to batch. So if you want me to break it down, it is, so we're looking at our reply at less place with 20%, pretty bad. Um, also, I do wanna say obviously this response rate in general are pretty good because we're using Smarter Contact, to be honest with you. Um, I've, used, I've used other platforms and Smarter Contact do seem to have a better reply rates than other ones. So, you know, if you're using this on your platform, if you're using a different platform, you may not get the same percentage replies, but you know, this just to kind of give you an idea just where the skip tracing itself stands. So you got 20% reply rate from REI reply, the worst one out there. Second worst is REA skip. 25%. We have Sherpa and Smarter Contact very close to each other. 33 and 30% um, for those two. So they're decent, uh, in the good range, uh, but they are in the middle. Then we have, after that, we have 35% and 36%. So 35% for batch and 36% for prop stream. So those are very, very close as well. And I'm pretty surprised to be honest with PropStream, the fact that they gave us 36% replies. Um, I'm also going to look really quick to see if there were, what kind of replies there were in a second here, uh, but this is just the percentage. And in the first place, which I think is a pretty far off, 6% difference from the second place is Skip Matrix. I'll be honest with you, I myself, I am kind of surprised. I did not expect Skip Matrix to do so well. They did take a little longer to get the leads, etc. So maybe they do some uh, proper skip tracing. I have no idea how they operate, but 42% is pretty good. That's a considerable difference between the first and the second place. And you know, using a texting platform and a, a skip tracing platform together that you can get 42% reply rate. That is a lot. If you ask a lot of other wholesalers, 15 to 20% is what an average you will get response rate. 
probably maybe even less. But having 42% that's very high. I myself, I'm kind of surprised <laughs> to be honest with you. But let's hop into Smarter Contact here really quick. And let's take a look at the campaigns that I ran and let's just see what are we looking like. Okay, so we had the matrix. So 45 replies, not a lot of roll numbers. One, two, I see. Uh, yeah, a couple roll numbers, not a lot. Um, let's go to what we, what we had the second place. We had prop stream in the second place. Let's see how what this did. I think this just a little bit more raw numbers, but you also have to understand prop stream is five cents cheaper per trace. So you're definitely getting um, interesting deal there. Let's take a look at batch now. Wow, this is kind of crazy. Batch gets a lot of replies, but a lot of those are not right numbers. Even though we did see like high percentage, Prop stream seems to have a better skip tracing than Batch does. All right, well, let's let's go to the next one. We had um, Sherpa. Yeah, this is pretty like six. It's pretty standard. I would say maybe a little more than Prop stream, but about the same. So nothing too crazy here. Uh, next one, we got Smarter Contact. So this is about the same. I would say it's probably what, seven or eight. So about the same, uh, not many, maybe a little more than Sherpa, but probably about the same. So very standard, uh, you know, with having Sherpa and Smarter Contact have very similar, I get a feeling that both of the skip tracing platforms are very, very similar. Uh, let's take a look at the worst one out there. 13 answers and all of them, no, 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 no. Okay, let's, uh, let's, let's do a couple conclusions here really quick. So we have Batch that surprised me by the amount of percentage of people replied but also had the highest percent of people telling that that's not the correct number. So yes, you may get a lot of replies, but they don't seem to be the correct numbers for those people. Prop stream, really good surprise. Um, for 10 cents, we actually had a decent amount of answers, but also um, not as many wrong numbers. Yes, of course, there are some wrong numbers, but it's not too bad. Uh, Lead Sherpa, Smarter Contact, very similar very uh very similar skip tracing uh standard amount of uh wrong phone numbers nothing too crazy it's quick turnaround time for both i do like both of those platforms rei skip rei reply don't waste your money 20 to 25 percent with having wrong numbers rei skip i reply don't even waste your time don't waste your money no point for it no need for it and i'll be honest with you the biggest surprise today was skip matrix 42 percent reply rate and with that 42%, yes, there were some wrong numbers, but not that many. That is very surprising. If you're running a uh, 5,000 property list and you had a 6% difference, that 6% is a lot. <laughs> it is a lot of properties. So, and you know, if you do this over time, you know, 6% could mean a lot of things. It could mean a lot of bigger deals closed, a lot of deals closed, period. You know, I'll be honest with you, I've learned something myself on this video. This has been a very interesting video for me to record. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I mean, this took me about a week to film over the time and took me some money to pay for all the skip tracing. So if, at the least, if you can do is just a little like to this video, comment um, if you have any questions, subscribe to the channel because I really do appreciate it. And as always, guys, peace.